As awesome as working with Blender can be, not everyone uses all the extensive tools that it comes with. And for that reason, the folks at Blender Foundation are introducing Blender apps. This is considered as experiences powered by Blender. And for the most part, this would be a stripped down version of Blender for various use cases. The goal for this is simple. Give Blender users autonomy to create applications with Blender and distribute them at will. This could range from building a very simple tool for specific clients to preview renders or products in real time from various angles, down to building customized versions of Blender that you will need for daily tasks. A very simple example from the press release note is this. As a studio technical director, you might probably want a cross-platform solution that can visualize everything from image sequences to videos and 3D files and at the same time annotate on top of such media so that you can give notes to colleagues. So combining the video sequencer, the image editor, annotation tools would make for a more tailored set of tools for functionality. How this would work is pretty simple. This will start off with a set of templates which will be available on Blender.org, although the previously created templates which you probably have can be copied and modified. And in terms of editing to create new tools, the idea for editing and creating tools will include having a blank canvas where components and functions can be added, and unlike traditional IDEs for programming which requires compilation and debugging, this promises to have a live preview of changes so once you make any edit, you'll be able to preview what the tool you're making would look like at the end of the day. And if you'd like to make custom edits to the tools which you've created, you'll be able to use standalone IDEs to customize or play with the Python code. There's also a proposal to provide the boilerplate templates to help creators achieve more functionalities like drag and drop, window management, and so on. This will be very useful as it will cut out the need for creators to type every single line of code. And when creators are done with the building process of the apps or tools that they are making, they can choose to distribute these in two forms. The first one is the .blend file which will be packed as a .blendx file. This file extension is going to be available and useful to those who already have Blender installed on the machine that they would like to use this app on. And the second one is the .exe Windows executable file format. This is going to run on any machine as a standalone tool and do not require Blender to be installed. Although the caveat for this one is the file size is definitely going to be higher than what you get to the .blendx as Blender will be embedded into the standalone file and Blender on its own is about 200 plus in megabytes. And for licenses, just like Blender add-ons, the code automatically inherits the same license Blender has. Meanwhile, assets and other resources can be distributed under the creator's own license. So, this is more like it. Awesome new possibilities are coming to Blender and it will be interesting to see what creators and developers would make with this. This for sure would change the idea of what Blender is capable of and sooner than later, implementations of Blender for Android, iOS and iPadOS would give Blender users the chance to create and deliver mobile-based solutions. And with the Blender extension platform coming, this would make for a nice development for creators to exchange apps that they've created for public use. So. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check them out. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.